Alright, welcome back to another episode of X-Life. In the last episode, I stole the frog prince. I don't really know why. I think some of you pressured me into it, to be honest. But it has been pointed out to me that the frog prince belongs to Lizzie, who's actually online at the time of recording. Along with my new Seven Heart Brother Solidarity Gaming. How wonderful. So a lot of you want me to hold the frog prince hostage, you sick freaks. So you know what? Absolutely. Hey up, Vikram, big fella. Good to see you. So I'm thinking what we do is we make a new cell behind Pauline that you can just see, and that's where we put the frog prince. So I'll be doing that in this episode, but before I do, we never actually went and collected our stuff from Lizzie's parkour, because we got some pri- What? I got confused, my voice broke. What on earth have we found here? What is this on top of my house? What? there's a digger! That's the coolest digger I've ever seen! Jeremy won, and there's a crane. What is happening? What the? Jeremy's statue building. Whoa! My giant statue of myself is being produced! They're my socks! <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen! These are gonna be my socks, these are my little feet. Just like the socks on my U2s, you know? Look at them. Oh man, I hope we get to keep the digger, because I mean, that's the best thing I've ever seen! Look at it! Kai, Kai, add some digger sound effects right now. I can't find any. Whoa, that was awesome! Awesome. Thanks, Kai. <laughs> There's a cow in the crane. This is unbelievable. I mean, it also feels like it's kind of procrastinating on the statue. I mean, how long's the crane take to build, Joel? But that means that we are getting very close to being reborn as Jeremy, to be fair. So I'm pretty hyped about this. Who's this fella? Worker Jeremy. God, this is going to be good. I mean, if they're my feet, I'm feeling good about the statue. The statue may potentially get taller than my floaty castle thing, which is unbelievable. Anyway, what I was going to say was we never actually collected our prizes from Lizzie's parkour. Because although we did die, we did complete two levels, so I'm owed like a diamond or something, I think. So the prize is just here, and to be honest, I feel like I should get them collected sooner rather than later, seeing as we have stolen the frog prince. <laughs> uh, where are... There I am! Jack sucks! I don't know why people have to specify Jack sucks. There's no other Jacks on the server, but I'm whacked as Jack sucks in the description as well. Guys, <laughs> whoa! We have one diamond, a Disney wish block, and then I get this little trophy thing as well, and I absolutely love a trophy, so I will 100% take that. Thank you, Lizzie. Really sorry that I stole the Prince. She didn't say hi to me though, I'm not gonna lie, when I logged in. Look at our digger! Guys, tell him to leave the digger. I want the digger in the agreement, alright? New deal, you see? Where do we put our parkour challenge award? I love an award. Hello, Harriet, good to see you. Do you think we've got room inside here? Oh, bloody hell. I nearly kicked off at my own play button thinking it was somebody's self advertisement. We want this with our other awards, really. Do you think we can. Oh, we could just put it on top of the chest. Look at that! Look at the little dead pig! That's me! I was a dead pig! I died, and that's how I'm on seven hearts. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> hey! <laughs> At the time of filming, I haven't seen Jimmy's reaction to these yet. I don't know if he's even seen them. <laughs> it gave me a shock anyway. Right, what's a Disney wish block? Can I do something with it? Is this what it does? Is it just like nice and pretty and decorative? Look, I'm fine with that. I just, I, it said wish block and I thought, you know, if I... Ah, it's like a lucky block. I see what it does. Oh my god, mini ears. It might be time to retire the plant hat because I'm... <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, the plan out's over. Guys, on screen right now, some X-Life fun art. Oh my god, hang on, it's kicking off. Jimmy left and Lizzie said, lovely chap, unlike whoever kidnapped the frog prince. Someone kidnapped the frog prince? Let's send a shocked face. I am so sorry to hear that. <clears throat> what kind of monster would do that? Let's change the subject. You should see my new mini ears. I look awesome. <laughs> How was that a frog? How are you a frog at all? The most unlike frog that I've ever seen. That's not a frog. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're wearing some of Scott's clothes from his shop as well. Absolutely not. I got it from my wish block you gave me. Okay, while well, we're small talking with Lizzie, we're gonna go ahead and trap her frog prince in a cage. Right, Pauline, you've really gotta stop. Pauline, this is for your own good, just for a second. So this is where I'd like the frog prince to be. I'd like you to be able to kind of see the frog prince hanging out in here. I think this is big enough, truth be told. And then we just get like a little bit of this and a little bit of that dotted about the place. Who's growling? What can I hear there? I've recently changed my settings. I've turned on friendly creatures volume again. Because I turned them off in like episode 2 because we had like 500 blue boys knocking about the place. But all the blue boys have buggered off these days so I'm not too bothered. Alright, Frog Prince, you go- Frog Prince! No! Frog Prince, you stay in your prison cell. You stay. And then we block this in. Good. Excellent. Oh, the frog prince is chirping. I can hear the frog prince chirping. We gotta get out of here before we feel bad. I just realized how perfect this is. Pauline will stop anyone from stealing the frog prince. Look at that. We just plonked that there. And uh, big Pauline jumps back down. Perfect. And you could just see the... <laughs> You can just see his little Christmas jumper. Perfect. Vikram, after all these years, I can finally hear your voice. Kind of just sounds like he's snoring, to be honest, Vikram. All right, Andre, do you make noises? Let's have a listen to Andre. No, that was a chicken. 
Oh, there's the bloody surviving blue boys over here. They make such a racket, I tell you. They are so noisy. To be honest, I'm glad they all left. All right, what about Harriet? What kind of noise does Harriet make? They sound like a sheep. Meh. Me. Okay, we played it cool with Lizzie, and I think we've got away with it all, to be honest. I'm looking pretty good as well. Oh, also, it's been confirmed that Joel does have some diamonds saved for me for our deal, because I'm kind of relying on all of his diamonds, and I forgot to actually agree to that. But look at this. Joel's art auction. Come bid on some art today. Past the Church of Jeremy and Jimmy Books at Spawn. Well, I'm firstly absolutely repulsed by the self-advertisement, but we'll let it slide because... Oh, he just broke my pickaxe. Really sad. What the hell? I wanted to go to the art gallery, and now I have to make a new pickaxe, and I'm just stressed about the whole fiasco, to be honest. There it is. There's our pickaxe. Okay, okay, okay. Have a snooze as well. Go on, have a snooze, Jack. Go on, treat yourself. <laughs> look at our corner. <laughs> right, let's go take a look at some nice art that we can't afford. I'm really excited about this. It'll be nice, because I believe I'm actually featuring on one of the art pieces. All right, we've got the Seven Heart Clubhouse. I reckon we got time for a quick dip. Oh, here we go. You know what, Jack? Take your gear off. Take your gear off. Oh, there it is. Get your feet up, Jack, with your little mini hat. <laughs> Hey Jack, why don't you have a little boogie in the seven hour clubhouse? Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Having great times with all my friends. Look, it's me with my sunburnt nose. That's a lot of fun, that. All right, really enjoyed that. Thanks for building it, Joel. Do we stop for a drink at Jimmy Books? I don't quite know the prices. I don't think it was open last time we were here. Oh my God, all coffees cost three diamonds. I'd go broke. I have two diamonds to my name. Look at that. People are actually spending three diamonds on this crap. It looks nice though. That's what's annoying. That frappuccino, I genuinely want to drink in real life. Jimmy, if I hadn't just murdered you in the last episode, I would be stealing all kinds of frappuccinos right now. Is this the art gallery? I'm guessing it must be. Whoa, what's going on here? What is this? That could be the art gallery because I do see some art. Right, let's have a look. Oh, it is the art gallery. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Soggy Noodle has created this nice art piece, okay. But I'm not in it, so I don't care. We're also not featured in this one. We're not featured in this one. We're not in this one either. No, we're not in this piece of art or this one. Joel, mate, surely only you or Lizzie is going to want to buy this stuff. It'd be a bit weird if I ordered this giant picture of your wife, wouldn't it? Same with this one. Where's the picture of me? Oh, there's an upstairs. There's an upstairs. All right, don't worry. Well, there'll be a picture of me somewhere in the art gallery, okay? It's all gonna be perfectly fine. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, right, right. Yes! There's the big fella with big, beautiful Vikram. Looking incredible. Give him a little cuddle. I mean, that is the most delightful thing I've ever seen. Luna, you've done an amazing job on that one. Luna, if I could get this cropped, I would spend at least a diamond on it. Absolutely. This is quite a nice picture. I like this one. Can't see me house anywhere, though, so I'm not interested. No, not relevant enough to be involved in that one. No worries. Nope, they're not me. That's fine. Oh, hang on, hang on. This one looks promising. <gasps> yes! Look at that. Look at us and Fwip having a little chat on. I mean, that's a pretty unreal piece of artwork, to be fair. I quite like that one. I might actually do a bid on it. Has anyone bid on it so far? No one just yet. And I think that's the last one that we feature in. I like this one. Is it? Oh my god. 80 diamonds? I'm gonna bid on this one, and I'm gonna bid... I'll give one diamond. How do I write stuff? One diamond. Jack. I'm not made of money yet. I'm in between jobs at the minute, so... <laughs> 80 diamonds. Some people have more money than cents. I could just take the URL. Save myself 80 diamonds. I've got it. It's mine now. I'm going to put it up in my house. 80 bloody diamonds. What do you think this is? We're making a picture frame. We're getting the hell out of here. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. We've got our art piece. Let's bail. 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 We will set a waypoint before we go, though. Actually, we could probably just teleport home. Right. How do you make the picture frames again? Oh, we need the wool, the wood, and the iron. Okay. We are short of three wool. We can't even be an art thief anymore. I don't even get it. Oh! <laughs> The perfect crime. The perfect crime. Stealing art with his own advertisement promoting the art. This is perfect. And you know what? Victimless crime. Because the art's not gone anywhere. It's still there. Scott can pay his 80 diamonds and move on with his life. But me, on the other hand. <laughs> and I've not even displayed it correctly. It's all squashed. I will fix that, to be fair. Oh, we've got a thing in here. I completely forgot. I might try and enchant my sword. I know I don't have many levels. You know, I may as well whack something on it at the end of the day. Because I can't imagine I need many levels to get another star swords to be like proper fancy. Whoa, Lizzie just got an achievement for slay an apotheotic boss. Stronger creatures lying in the caves. Look for red sand. What the Christ is she up to? I'm sure it's not as thrilling as big league as what I'm doing. All right, knock back two. I mean, I'd rather not. Go on then, why not? That's it. I didn't get anything stronger. I wanted sharpness or smite or something. Just look at the nice, beautiful picture of you Kudlin Vikram and everything's gonna be okay, Jack. There you go. All right, we're gonna go looking for some spiders because to be honest, I'm getting a bit sick of running out of string. I've just realized this is Podzol. I've always avoided it since episode one because I thought it was, uh, oh, well, that spider's gone. Brilliant. I've always avoided it because I thought it was quicksand, but it's literally just Podzol that I could stand on at any point if I wanted to. All right, come here, you. There we go. I can't believe we don't one hit with a nether star sword. Doesn't matter, Jack. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. Oh, that spider's launched into the abyss. No worries. Do you think that thing will drop stringy? Kind of looks like a spider. I feel like he won't, but we'll find out.
Whoa, did you see him swing at me? I've never seen that before. That was unreal. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. Look at that swing. I like that. Come on, come on. He dropped an Arachnean crystal, which I can't put on my head. So I'm not interested. Oh my God, is the casino open? Why didn't anybody tell me? This is amazing. Look at this. Oh my God. There's like a spooky downstairs bit. Why? What is happening here? Oh. Place TNT bet here. I feel like I've missed some stuff. Let's go back up. Look at this. This is so bloody aesthetically pleasing. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Heartbomb Casino. Continue through the iron doors to access casino downstairs. Offering select Jimmy Books beverages on site. If you win in the casino game or have any questions, please contact Fwip. More info on all the rules and everything downstairs. All right, I have context. I am ready. Here you are able to become rich beyond your wildest dreams. Yes, finally. From a simple bet, how much TNT do you think you can explode on yourself? to end up on half a heart. Inside of the empty betting book, write your bet and take as much TNT as you need for your bet. Place TNT inside the designated barrel and flick the lever to fill the machine. Jesus Christ. Wait a second or two for a card to fill, then flick lever again to stop it. After loading is complete, enter the blast chamber and open the trap door on far right seat. I'm getting a bit stressed. Place diamonds being bet inside your barrel with your betting book. Please do not sign so you can reuse. Example, FWIP, 5 hearts, 15 TNT, 32 diamonds. All bets must be made on camera. Winning bets must have video evidence. You may wear any armor you'd like. If you end up on one heart or lower, you are not allowed to play again until you move on to your next light. I'm a bit stressed. I don't know if I want to do this because I'm obviously just going to die, aren't I? I don't quite understand. I feel like I will just... Oh my... God, this is way too intense. Tell me some tips, all right? Tell us what I can get away with. I'll do it in the next episode if you want me to. Just to be honest, I kind of want to vomit right now. That was too much going on. I feel a bit stressed about the whole thing. I will definitely end up on eight hearts. And then obviously when Joel kills me, we'll be on nine hearts. I'm probably going to get killed by Lizzie because I've stolen the frog prince. And that brings us to ten hearts. So really, we want to be careful if we don't want to lose the series instantly. Let's just calm down. Wait, guys, I've just realized I stole art from the guy that's currently in the process of building a giant statue. I think I perhaps acted a bit emotionally and I'm going to take the art down before we get into any kind of trouble. We're going to get it removed. I don't want to get on the wrong side of Jeremyism, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it down. Admire it one last time. That's really nice. That I like it a lot. There we go. We've took it down. All right. My hands are off the table. And now we need to decide what do we put on this picture frame seeing as we can't just steal art. We should not have done that. I don't know what I was thinking. I know. Let's find our own art with the hashtag. Jack X life and here we've got all of the lovely art some really really nice stuff this one managed to get into a video twice by accident nice one editor kai we could have a picture of the seven heart clubhouse on the wall in the seven heart clubhouse you know what we are absolutely doing that i'm getting that saved but i've still got another one we've got this beautiful picture of vikram i mean there's so much amazing art actually thank you very much to everyone that creates it oh i really like this one i've not seen this i think this could be the winner to be honest that looks so good let's grab that to remind us of all the fun we've had at spawn right where's a nice place for it we don't have that much room, really. We'll put it here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That looks amazing. I like that a lot. I'm pleased with that. That looks nice. Adds to the cave quite a bit. Now we need to head to the 7 Clubhouse. clubhouse. Alright, and now all I need to do is edit this one and save. Whoa, that's so weird. That is really weird. <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah, that is just weird. That That is cool. We could continue that theme. This is our 7 Art Clubhouse. If we want to customize it, we can customize it all we fancy. You know what? I feel we've really achieved a lot in this episode. Too much, to be honest. I think we need to kind of slow down a little bit really but hopefully they enjoy this episode would i die if i fell from here i'm just kidding i don't quite want to check thank you very much for watching please give me some suggestions for things i can do in the next episode if you give me some specific manageable tasks i will complete them uh, don't tell anyone about the frog prince we'll keep him safe in there hope you like my mini hat and i will see you later <laughs>